Welcome to Opening Acts here at 1871, where we feature exciting new startups and introduce them to the community. Uh, we have Curran Goyle, the uh, founder of Get Set Learning tonight. Welcome, Curran. Great to have Thank you. Thank you for having me. So this isn't your first startup. You did a company called Prep Me before, mm -hmm. um, which I understand won the U of C, the Chicago Booth uh, New Venture Challenge. It did, 2005. 2005. Well, some great companies have come out of the New Venture Challenge there, including uh, Founder Stories guests, uh, the founders of Grubhub, as well as Braintree. So great, uh, great lineage there. Um, and uh, just remind everybody, uh, I know you had a successful outcome there. Uh, who did you end up selling uh, Prep, Prep Me to? So we built the first adaptive learning platform and sold that to Providence Equity. They're the folks that own Blackboard, if anyone's used that in college. Terrific. Well, uh, exciting to have you get set. I have to start with the, um, a disclaimer, which is fortunately uh, Chicago Ventures, of which I am a, a part uh, and affiliated, uh, tries to invest in the best companies, and many of them are ones we have here as uh, opening acts. So I have to put that disclaimer out. I am indirectly invested and uh, excited to be invested. Thank you. Get Set in your next chapter. Uh, but for those who don't know Get Set, it was really known as Get Set Learning. What does Get Set do? It's a great question. So let's just be a show of hands. How many people here have ever wanted to know how to do something but might have felt shy about asking for help? Anyone ever been in that position? Oh, yeah, a lot of, I guess we're a room full of entrepreneurs, so lots of very confident people that aren't really shy. <laughs> but there are lots of people that are, unwilling to reach out for help. There are lots of people that are stuck, they don't know where to start, um, and there's not really a way for them to get help today. Right? You can go anonymously onto a discussion board, so the internet has definitely made things easier than in the past when you'd actually have to go up to someone and say, hey Pat, how do I do this? But imagine if you wanted someone's help and it had to be really, really relevant, specific to where you were. So it wasn't hey, I'm an entrepreneur and I want to figure out how to build a team. But it was, hey, I'm an entrepreneur in downtown Chicago and I want to build a team and I want to ask Pat that question. But how do I do that without putting myself out there? There, there wasn't a way to do that before Get Set. So really what Get Set does is it enables people to get instant support and allows them to do so anonymously. So you don't actually have to say, hey, I'm Curran and this is my story, this is why I want your help. But you can say, this is who I am. You don't even have to ask for help. You just say what you want to do. And in, in the way that this is a founder story and, and you're going to hear Mark Tebby speak, this is the opportunity on Get Set to hear the experiences of other people just like you who've been successful. And we give those behavior models to people instantly. So I type in anything. I say, I'm a new college student and I have absolutely no clue how to fill out this form. I didn't ask for help, I didn't even frame it as a question, and I instantly see people that are specifically relevant to me, and I see how they've overcome this challenge. So what we've created is a way for people to grow and learn, but do so without having to put themselves out there. Terrific, and where'd the idea come from? So the idea came from after selling the previous company, um, I got together with my old VP of product, so I really, really wanted to work with him again. and. Um, I had, for one year after selling Prep Me, I wasn't allowed to talk to him, basically. So the day after that expired, I sent him an email. We met up at the Argo T on Michigan Avenue. And I said, Eric, what's the biggest problem in education right now? So we'd, we'd built the first adaptive learning platform. And our product had a really big impact. But I said, how can we do something that's much bigger? And Eric said, well, the more people I talk to, it seems like the biggest problem in education right now is that we have a huge college dropout crisis. So this is hard for most people to believe, but fewer than 50% of students who start some form of higher education will graduate from college. I don't know about you guys, but that struck me as a really disappointing number. Um, the US used to be the first in college attainment. Now we've dropped to 12th and continuing to get worse and worse. So I said to Eric, well, how do we fix this problem? We used to think that it was just about academics. If you just got people be better at reading, writing, and math, they could graduate college. But what's interesting is somewhere between 10 to 20% of people who drop out of college are failing their classes. The rest of the people there are failing or leaving for other reasons. They're not actually not able to complete the academic coursework. So as we dug into that, we realized that all these people are leaving because they don't fit in, they don't know how to get help, they don't reach out for help, they 
don't think that they can make it happen. So we said, how do we build something that's psychology-based? How do we help people be more confident and more committed to their own success? And so we actually spent a year and a half doing just R&D, running lots of experiments, um, self-funded the company to start out, and we started learning from these experiments, like what is it that people needed? And that's kind of what teed us up to build this product that, that I talked to you about. Great, and what can you tell us about traction thus far? Great question. So we launched our product in mid-August. Our launch customer is Arizona State University. Our community manager, Zach, is sitting over there if you guys have questions about how much work it takes to launch a really gigantic school like Arizona State. Zach's a great person to ask. Arizona State is the largest public four-year institution in the United States. You guys might have seen they recently signed a deal with Starbucks where any Starbucks barista can actually get a degree at Arizona State. So an amazing launch customer. They're also one of the most innovative colleges in America. Since then, we've launched a number of other schools, sort of mostly focused on two-year colleges because that's where there's some even worse dropout challenges. Um, and that's where we're continuing to grow. And we were recently selected as a semi-finalist for the $5 million Robin Hood Prize which is a prize to increase graduation rates in City Colleges in New York. They're currently 18% as their three-year graduation rate for a two-year degree. So uh, we're going to find out in January if we're selected as a finalist and hopefully have a chance to make a huge impact there. Fantastic. And what's your vision? You know, in 10 years we're talking about this. What do you hope Get Set could be? That's an awesome question. So we really view Get Set as something that goes well beyond education. There are all sorts of areas where people want support, where people want to learn from the experiences of others. So I'll just give you a few great examples. One is the military. You've just been in combat, and you've been through something incredibly traumatic. How do you build on that experience? How do you do it privately? Um, and we're not talking about clinical psychology. We're talking about non-clinical issues, the kind of things that you don't necessarily go see a professional about. You just want to know that someone else has been in those shoes and how did they transition out of the military into a working career? Or um, you've just found out that a loved one has been diagnosed with a really bad illness. Sure, you can go to a message board, but you just want to type something in and instantly hear something back. You don't want to type it on a message board and wait days for people to respond. You want to know right now, like, my grandfather has lung cancer. What does this mean? So there are many, many applications for this idea of how do you help people that aren't ready to put themselves out there. And in 10 years, I see Get Set being the place that people think of when they say, I want to get better at something. I want to learn something. I want support, but I'm not ready to put myself out there. And Get Set is where they're going to find that. Really exciting. Well, it sounds great. Uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for producing it. Good luck. Thank you for having me. Thanks.